We are on our way to Leeds. Return of the champ. We are on our way to Leeds for Europe's Strongest Man. I'm not competing. I've won this title. I don't need to do it anymore. Yeah, watch that. I see him. You've got to stop this whinging. I'm not. Otherwise, I'll drop you off. They drop me off. <laughs> this is you my car. You and your camera can stay here. I'll go to Leeds without you. Ah. Uh. You'd miss me too much. You'd be lost without me. Wander <laughs> around like a weirdo. Alright, what are we doing? Getting some excellent before the competition footage. Where are we? <gasps> the North. <laughs> King of the, the North! north. <laughs> <laughs> We've got Mr. Bilton and Mr. Maguire. Hey guys. <laughs> <laughs> How are you two feeling? Yeah, feeling good. Yeah, feeling yeah. good. Everyone else is back. Yeah. Yeah. Well, feel, Everyone else feel is awesome. back. Yeah. Congratulations on your win at Wales. Oh, thank you very much. Yeah, yeah. Um, I didn't intentionally need to win five from five from five, but uh, it just happens. It just just ran out the place. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome. The Leeds and European Championships, along with World Record Log Press attempt. Thanks for coming out, guys. I know you trained really hard for this, and uh, you're prepared to put on a great show. For these wild and crazy strongman fans. The rules meeting. Of course, the minute is going to be run by Darren. Colin's not here. He's uh, missed a plane train, automobile, or something like that. Maybe he was busy editing. So. <laughs> well, Kansas on a roll. Hey, you told me I had 35 minutes. <laughs> Or was that three to five minutes? <laughs> hey, great cop, but uh, gosh, guys, you know, I'm new to this thing about sticking a microphone in your face. So when I do, man, nice short answers, a lot of power, back and forth. The way Neil does it with getting, getting the best out of you guys, when you're all hyped up, you're right after an event, but still you got a couple good thoughts that you're gonna give us after you gave a great performance. Totally awesome. Make a fantastic show, you guys always do. I just encourage you to do your best. Pretend like you don't have any injuries, and even though you were hurt a couple weeks ago, you're good to go. Hixie, same thing with you. Come on, guys. Ah. Darren, take hey it guys. away. Well, that was Colin. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers, guys. Yeah, um, thanks for coming, guys. Um, Bryce is going to be here. He's stuck in, you know, usual Bryce, you know what he's like. Missed, missed his train and all this sort of thing. Um, so, yeah. Um, just go through the events really. All you guys have done a giant slide before, I think. So nothing's, nothing's new. Um, starting off with the log, we've got Big Bibby coming over um, to uh, to challenge Luke and Hicksy on the log, you know what I mean? The two Brits. Well, we should join the Where's the two? So, no, normal Slater log, normal rules. Magnus Ver's got um, COVID. Um, so Dave Warner will be refereeing it. So sorry about that. <laughs> it's a very popular decision. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. So the jumps on the log. We're going to start the show at 180. Then we're going to go 195. Then we're going to go 207 and a half. Then 221 for the British record. British record. Is that, one and a half? Is that you, you guys? Yeah, yeah. Let's not go there. Sorry, I forgot that. Um, <laughs> moving on. Um, and then, um, and then Luke's going to do two thirty. So there we go. Who's got a record right now? Which one of you's got it right now? I think we'll not talk about that lots to be honest. Awkward. <laughs> we're, we're both equally good at law. <laughs> <laughs> Who's better? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we'll sort that one out tomorrow, shall we? So yeah, that's the log. Is there any questions on the log? It's all fairly straightforward. Is there anyone totally unhappy with the jumps or anything like that? Everything cool? Um, yeah, so the shields. Um, 20 meter course, so you've got a pick and you've got a, a moment's pause because they're in a, a cradle. So you've got to give them enough time to take the cradle away. So we've done it before where someone just falls straight over the cradle, which doesn't wear Matt Felix. Uh, so yeah, just, just make sure you wait for that. Um, and that's that 20 meter course, you've just got to touch the line with one, one foot, just break it and back over. Okay? 
it's rubber matting so it's, it's pretty flat but again watch your footing try not to totally slam it down if you can because they're heavy I don't want to be playing for the floor and um, just be careful that it goes away from you because they are heavy and make sure it doesn't go into the other person's lane because, because they are so heavy any questions on that event? Is it for distance or 40 meters? Distance, so it's 20 meters backwards forward as many times as you can. Okay? Don't worry about too much distance with us. I think, I think, um, yeah, I think Mark Steele got 60 meters, I think that's the record. Yeah. Um, so that's that event. Then we go to deadlifts, which are the big uh, globes that we use at Britain's Strongest Man. They weighed up to 350. Most of you guys have used these before. Um, 60 second time limit. Obviously no bouncing, but they, they don't really bounce much anyway, those things. Um, and then after deadlift, we've got car walk. Again, a lot of you guys have done this before. If you haven't done it before, make sure you get quite a low height because if the tires catch, you, you're stuffed really. So get a nice height. Royal take your heights when you get down there. So it's probably a good thing to get that done first. But make sure you've got plenty of clearance because they do tend to rock around and if a tyre catches, it's not like a yoke, it won't slide, it'll just pull it off your back. Um, and then we'll finish off with stones, just the normal, the lighter set of stones because of you guys have been competing elsewhere. Um, Tom's not here anyway to do the, do the big stones. Uh, so that's that. Um, any questions or anything? The other thing is, last time at the last show, the staff got quite a bit of shit off people to be honest with you which these people are helping out you know what I mean a lot of them aren't getting paid so if they, if they ask you to do anything you know what I mean it's, it's, they've got to be respected the staff there's a there's a VVIP meet and greet everyone's got to go to you, you guys know you're in there for two minutes quick chat and that's it you're out of there the people prepared to see you but it's not an optional thing now and if people don't want to go I just want to invite them back simple as that not a big deal. So that's pre um, pre show, so that'll be 3 30. And if we get you all in there, it's literally a quick chat with all of you and then out of there. So you're gonna have an hour and a half to get warmed up for your log when you walk out. And then the post show one obviously on the floor. Um and then the sandwiches and drinks and things like that. Mr. Luke Stoltman, two weeks time we're coming up to Glasgow, we're coming up to your turf, your neck of the woods, a raiding party from the south. It's happening again. History is going to repeat itself. We're coming to take away titles from the Scots. It's going to happen. It's going to be nasty. It's going to be the war of the Union. Be, the Union's going to be torn apart. How many, how many English guys are going up? Is it just you? I don't know. I have no idea, actually. I don't know got, who's doing it. Both Scotland's. Potentially Andy Black there. The Scottish are going to be there in force. Uh, I'm just Which up. English guys are yeah, going? I'm a little bit, actually, I'm a little bit nervous now. There's a lot of Scottish. Andy That's Black's a lot of really, beef. Andy Black's really big as well. So we've got Tom, we need some help. Andy, Luke. That's well, a lot get? of beef in one lift. Who else should we get up for it? <laughs> You're running through. It's just me and Hixie now, isn't it? Since you're bloody gone and Terry's retired. Oh, Mark's Felix. Doing it. Felix Mark's doing it. Yeah. That's all we need. There you go. Just need me and Felix. That's all we need. <laughs> Felix, <laughs> Bish, and yeah, Hixie. Actually. Should I wear a kilt for that one? I think you should. The biggest piss I think we need to go and get some clippers. And I think you yeah. both need to. Are you I do, doing, but I've got clippers with me. I've got clippers with me. I don't know actually, we'll see. If you do it, you've got to wear a kilt. Yeah. It's just tradition. Yeah. Yeah. You're going to Scotland, you've got to wear a kilt. I just want to do it to wear a kilt. <laughs> one, one made out of the, the, the cross of St George would be pretty, <laughs> pretty aggressive, wouldn't it? <laughs> <laughs> pretty aggressive. Yeah. There's always one. You need a week off, okay? <laughs> oh, it's a professional strongman, what are you on about? <laughs> this is true. You're no. not doing the Arnold? No. Oh. I think that's a smart. It's too much. Yeah. yeah. Right. You've done everything so far, haven't you? Yeah. <laughs> I need a break. I'm not going to do the Arnold. You want to Britain, so. Exactly. The British title is worth more to me, so yeah, I think we don't even know if the Arnold US is going to happen. So they're doing the Arnold this year, but there's no strongman event. Yeah. <laughs> so who knows? They're just doing the bodybuilding pretty much, aren't they? Yeah, that's it. No expo or anything we like that. We spoke to Jan Todd, didn't we? We did. And she seems to think She's that the Arnold is going to go ahead next year. year. Next year. Back in March time or? Yeah. Yeah. At the moment, it's nothing certain. Yeah, 
I mean, the, the Rogue Invitational was in, isn't it? That looks pretty heavy. No. The Rogue Invitational, I didn't get an invite to the Invitational Aww. part of it. So, uh, no. The Invitational bit that let you down. Well, well, it makes sense, really, mate, because like, I've not been over to the Arnold. I haven't met any of those Rogue guys. Like, the, the Stolman boys have both been, they've been over, done the record breakers and everything like that. And there were a lot of the other guys that are sponsored athletes and stuff, but I doubt Shivakov will do it. He's broken, he's, mate. What happened to him? Yeah, he's, he's an absolute savage. Oh, he is. Tour his uh, tricep on the log press. Going for 190, 190-ish, and then uh, Rob's Achilles, I think, or Torres Achilles. Mm. I said to him, has to be something bad on the, sorry, for him to pull out. on the, the uh, yoke because he doesn't pull out with a bit of a niggle. Does oh yeah, he? but he had those two injuries. He still did the bag throw. Like he's an absolute maniac. He's mental. Yeah, yeah, absolutely mental. Absolute maniac. So, but yeah, he was good. And then flipped the buggy with Constantine. <laughs> <laughs> Bloody I had a 2.20 for sets of 10 yesterday. Yeah. Can I get the second bottom one? He wants the whole thing. <laughs> Thank you. What do you want to pull? So far, you're the best chef. Best presenter we have. What else you got back there? Nice dinner, Lozzy. Yeah, it was nice. Lots of protein. Lots of protein. Good. Learning a few tricks of how to dine with yeah. Uncle Bill. Yeah, <laughs> that's always interesting. <laughs> got some good information there. Yeah, how to make your own secret sauce. <laughs> So the guys are all well fed, had a lovely meal over at Facenders. Uh, it is called Facenders, isn't it? So check back tomorrow, guys, as we will have our behind the scenes video. While you're here, guys, subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of my awesome strength content.